What's going on guys? So this is episode one of my quest for gold series. Basically what this series is, is my quest to get all of the golden camos on the uh, all the guns in Modern Warfare 3, or as many as I can before Black Ops 2 comes out. I'll go through uh, all the submachine guns, all the assault rifles, all the uh, all the shotguns, basically as many as I can do. If you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, definitely post a comment down below. I know I have a couple submachine guns with gold unlocked already, and I got a suggestion to do the M14, which I will be working on this week. I'll probably be posting the Quest for Gold series every Monday, and uh, I know I have uh, another series or two that uh, is up right now and, and one that I'm working on but uh, quest for gold is probably gonna be up every single Monday uh, so look forward to that and every Friday is gonna be uh, my other series uh, infected by a Moab so this will keep me consistent and uh, on schedule and like I said if you guys have any suggestions for gold guns that you want to see me uh, get and any tips and tricks that you want for the guns that I get um, definitely post a comment down below I'm open to uh, all the suggestions so basically the ACR is probably one of the simplest, uh, the easiest to use assault rifles in the entire game and it's definitely one of the most powerful. With the silencer, it's kind of temperamental sometimes, um, you'll get a lot of hit markers from long range, uh, medium range and close range, it's pretty good, but majority of the time you're going to be using this gun from medium to long range. With a silencer like I have right now, um, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's okay, um, it brings it down just a bit. But in general, I don't think you'll notice the difference too much. I'm using kick proficiency, which is what I normally use on, on assault rifles, just because it helps me keep everything nice and stable for uh, uh, just a little bit more, and I'll be able to get those long range shots uh, nice and easy. I wouldn't recommend necessarily using like a red dot sight or, or a holographic sight. I mean, I wouldn't recommend using a holographic sight on, on any gun because that's just miserable. But uh, I wouldn't recommend the red dot sight on this gun. The iron sight's good enough, so you might as well use an attachment uh, that you're gonna uh, is gonna pose an advantage to you, like the silencer if you want to be stealthy or any other thing of your choice. Uh, in general, the iron sight's good, so you don't really need to add anything else. Um, as far as any other proficiencies, um, you could try out focus, but in general, you're not gonna get too many close quarter situations. You're gonna be using this gun, like I said, from medium to long range. So, uh, I mean, focus maybe, but I, I think kick is gonna be your best bet here. Um, of course, it's always up to you. As far as ranking this gun up really fast, um, it basically goes for any gun, but the best way to rank up a gun as quickly as possible to get to that gold camo is rotate the uh, rotate the weapon proficiencies and rotate the attachments. And right here, I'm getting bombed by my uh, own teammate's air support, and I just kind of sit in the corner because I couldn't see shit. Couldn't see shit. That was that was cute. All right. So uh, anyway, as I was saying. Um, definitely rotate the attachments and rotate the weapon, weapon proficiencies and you'll be able to rank up to the gold camo a lot faster. And one of the easiest ways to uh, rank up fast too is use the two attachment ref weapon proficiency. Um, so you have two attachments on your gun at all times and you're basically getting two times the amount of challenges, um, two times the XP, everything is basically twice. And uh, you see right here, I'm kind of staring off into this corner because I see this on the on the radar, that red dot inching closer and closer to me, and I see him behind the, the boards there. I think he was just like crawling toward me, trying to not be seen. That was really strange. Uh, but anyway, I definitely think using uh, the two attachment proficiency is one of the easiest ways to rank up. And yeah, like I said, you're basically getting two times everything every game that you play, so you'll be able to rank up to the gold guns um, nice and fast. So as far as the series goes, uh, I'll try to put as entertaining of gameplays as I possibly can. For the first couple, they'll probably be Moabs. I have a couple Moabs saved up with some gold guns, so look forward to that. I'm getting pretty good on getting Moabs. I never really used to go for them, as you guys know. But the past, oh, I would say month or so, I've been using the Specialist Killstreak perks a lot more, and I can pretty much get a Moab every couple days now, so it's pretty good. Uh, it's interesting. When you don't go into a game with the mentality of... of thinking that you need to get a Moab or you're going to get a Moab. If you kind of just go into the game and the Moab isn't even on your mind, you'll probably end up getting one. It's kind of weird. I mean, if I go into a game like angry and frustrated from the game of four and, and thinking to myself, all right, I have to get a Moab. I need to get a Moab. This is the game. I'm going to go 30 and 0. I'm going to carry the team. I mean, I end up going absolutely miserable and uh, I'm not going to have any fun. But um, like this game, I just kind of went in and, and I saw the team was soft and I'm like, all right, 
you know, man, let's see what happens. I'll, I'll play smart. I'll do my laps around the map. And you see right here, I'm actually one kill away. I'm, I'm in panic mode. We're only five kills away from the end of the game. And I rush down this left side because I know there's a guy just behind those wooden planks. And, and I rush him again. And I end up just barely getting him. With one kill to spare, I call on the Moab. Um, so I was really, really cool. It doesn't actually go through all the way, but uh, definitely really cool. I go 24-0 flawless uh, standard team deathmatch um, for my first for my first video in the Quest for Gold series. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Post a comment down below letting me know what you think. Post some suggestions for guns you'd like to see in the future. Also hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed and hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to see more and I'll see you guys later.